Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Paradise. And Gen Con is right around the corner, which means we are hitting the road again. We've done our research, we've done our homework, as we always do, because it is, it is a packed agenda while we're there. Uh, so we are here with our list of our top, most anticipated, brand new, exciting games. Yeah, so if that sounds like something you want to play or buy, then just keep watching. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Gen Con, it is the largest convention in the United States for board games. It's about 60 to 80,000 attendees, yeah. I think. Uh, and this is all about seeing the latest hotness. This is where most of the big new releases happen. And this is where you can play games, you can sit down for demos. There's a lot of buying that goes on here. For us, uh, there's a lot of meetings with publishers where we're seeing their catalog for the next year and really kind of getting a picture of, of what to expect for the coming months. And so we'll be there like all business, especially with Bark Avenue releasing this year. So. Yeah, Bark <laughs> Avenue is going to be there, which we'll talk more about. But so like he said, it's all business. So we also really, really like to play games. So we actually got to do that a lot two weekends ago at this point. Yeah, over at, get it out. Yeah, <laughs> Level Up Events up in Stamford, Connecticut. This was the first time um, gaming convention for them. And first one we've ever attended where it's been exclusively about playing games. And oh my gosh, I had a fantastic time. I think I ended up playing 14 and you ended up playing 15 games. All over an hour. <laughs> yeah, of like, it's like long length. I think on Saturday we played from, and it started at 9 a.m., ended at 1 a.m. And it was just a really well done event. I was really happy with the success of it and I really hope they do it next year. And if you were on the fence about going and they do it next year, I had a wonderful time doing it. Oh yeah, it was an absolute blast. Mm -hmm. It was just so cool because they had so many hot, fun new games set up. You know, we got there bright and early in the morning. It's like, oh, our Canova set up. Let's yeah. play. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that it was a lot of it was really cool. A lot of new yeah. games, and I got to um, meet uh, several people that watch our channel. So that was awesome meeting you guys. It's really um, fun. Yeah, and it was just <laughs> it was a great time. So that was that. So we got to play all the games. So this is going to be Gen Con is strictly business for us. This is Jonathan's third time going. This is my second because I couldn't go last year because I was big and pregnant. So I'm very excited to be going back this year. So let's dive in into what is hot and what we think you should see. First up on our list in alphabetical order is Agüera, City of Umbrellas. Uh, so this is a game where we're designing a street of like umbrellas overhanging. It's a real place in Portugal and it is a beautiful, beautiful little abstract game. Uh, now I love in particular the little umbrella tokens. I think those look so, so cute. It's from 25th Century Games who put out great stuff. So we are excited to check that one out. Next is the 20th anniversary edition of Amun Ray by Reiner Knizia. And but the art is by, brand new art by Vincent Dutre. Now this is is a, I'm really excited to see this and I haven't gotten a chance to ever play the original so I'm excited to check out this 20th anniversary, yeah. anniversary edition. There's been like a lot of revivals of games lately yeah. that are about 20 years old uh, so mm -hmm. we just got you know Castles of Burgundy in the mail a couple yeah. days ago <laughs> so yeah. it's really cool to see like lots of games from 10 plus years ago yeah. being revived. Giving them mm -hmm. like a fresh face because they're really good gameplay but just like bringing them into like today audience so I'm excited to check that one out. Next up on our list is Moon River. Now this is a really exciting one for me. It is uh, takes on the King Domino game systems, also published by Blue Orange. Uh, but now you are constructing your dominoes. So you have like puzzle piece dominoes that you stick together and then you play those on your board. And mm -hmm. apparently you're cowboys and you're herding like cows. Mm -hmm. So instead of having crowns, you have cows that you can move around between the, the tiles. <laughs> so it sounds like a slightly heavier like uh, King Domino, which I'm, I'm really excited about. Next is Wandering Towers and this is by Capstone Games. And uh, I would when I was going through the list, checking out everything, I thought the components for this game looked really cute. You're going to be stacking wizard towers on top of each other as you're trying to graduate from your wizard <laughs> at the top of your class and everyone forgot to do the assignment. I think that was what the <laughs> plot was and then so everyone's doing it once. But I'm really excited to check out these components in real life. I'll show a picture here. It just looks really cute. So, Wandering yeah. Towers. Next up on our list is the second expansion for Lost Ruins of Arnak by Czech Games Edition. Now this is exciting because not only do we get more leaders, but we also get a solo and two player campaign, mm -hmm. like like a story mode. Yeah. So we only play that two player basically, so it'll be really fun to have a story attached. Yeah, we recently featured Lost Ruins of Arnak in games we play all the time and never talk about. And one of those reasons is it like, um, we didn't fit into a section of this channel really, but now that they're coming out with a two player like campaign, I'm really excited to be able to dive into that on this channel and check that one out. Next up is Wild Tiled West. Yeehaw! Yeah. So this is by the we same like designer. Yeah. So this is by the same designer as Clank and by the publishers Direwolf. Now this is a really cute uh, tile placement game that I've been hearing a lot of buzz about, so I definitely want to go want to go and check this one out. Next up on our list from Keen Bean Studio, we have a murder mystery expansion for Roll Cam. 
camera. So this is a cute little co-op game where we are designing a film from start to finish. Uh, now, I, we've had a ton of fun with it. We've covered on this channel before, but I love just getting new tokens, new scenes, new fun stuff. So uh, it's at a low price point. We're excited to pick up that expansion so we can have some more fun and bring it to life again. Next up is Diced Veggies by Kids Table Board Games. Now, I am also excited. I'm just excited to check all these out, duh. <laughs> but I'm excited to check this one out in particular because it actually comes with a cleaver where you <laughs> use it to chop the dice and to split them apart. So like, like we saw it in the picture and you're like, does it actually? come with that and it does <laughs> I, I thought, thought it was it would, decorative for like yeah. some photos <laughs> and but it actually does so i'm excited to see what yeah. that one's about and how it plays out so you have to like chop dice off of the block and, and those are yours mm -hmm. um so it seems kind of cool next up on our list is my island published by cosmos you may have heard of my city which is a legacy like city building game over several uh different sort of story missions now my island is the latest edition it mixes things up now i've been told if you haven't played my city this is going to be be like a step up from that uh, so if that's something that you're looking for or you've already played my city and you're looking for the next thing that's what this is um, so by Rainer Knizia I think it's gonna get a lot of buzz uh, it's something that I've heard a lot about already next up is Cosmoctopus practice that a couple times mm. before I said this <laughs> by Henry Audubon who is the designer of parks yes, now published by Lucky Duck yeah published <laughs> by Lucky Duck and I'm mm -hmm. excited to um, check out this game and it's like where you're trying and you're like outer space and you're trying to hail all hail the the purple <laughs> octopus um, floating through space um, it looks really cute and the components look really Really fun so I, I want to check this out. Next up is The Art Project so that's published by The Op, at least here in the US. So mm -hmm. it is a game with art by Vincent Dutrait where there are art thieves trying to steal art and we're trying to recover the art. Mm -hmm. The board takes place in Japan uh, and it seems like it's gonna be a whole ton of fun. Uh, was just really drawn in by the graphic design on this one, honestly. It's so pretty. I'm, I'm hoping the gameplay lives up to everything I've seen in the pictures. I mm -hmm. think this is going to be a really cool little game. So. Yeah, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this one, but I I, I think it deserves some hype, so I, I want to go check it out. Also from the op, we have the brand new Sorcerer's Arena at the ready, which is going to feature Mulan, Robin Hood, and Mrs. Potts. We are <laughs> ready to add this to our collection and check it out. So we'll definitely be checking out the new Sorcerer's Arena next. Oh yeah, Angela Lansbury is totally gonna like fight oh, everybody. Oh yes, the August. I want to be her. That'd be fun. Okay. Yeah, it just we've loved this game. I think we've covered it several times. We're waiting for it to catch on and for everyone else to get really excited about it too. I think this expansion is. Uh, it just seems like it's gonna be a whole lot of really fun characters. So mm -hmm. very excited to introduce this. Next up on the list from Osprey Games, we have another David Thompson, Trevor Benjamin game who it designed on and all these other games that we love, War Chest. Uh, now, this game, General Orders, uh, World War II, is a small box little war game. Mm -hmm. It uh, seems really, really great from everything I've seen so far. I love these little games. Reminds me of sort of like uh, Caesar sees Rome in 20 minutes kind of vibe, you know, small box, mm -hmm. like small map. I, I'm just really excited to see how this one plays out, yeah. uh, and I'm, it's definitely one that I'm interested in checking out. Yeah, they've been on fire. Like, they've been releasing so many games. And so Battle of Britain is also going to be getting a lot of buzz, I think, at Gen Con, because it released over um, at the UK Expo, I believe. But mm -hmm. um, but I got it for Father's Day for him. So, <laughs> but I, I think I think this is also getting a lot of attention, but we already have it. Next up is Disney Villainous. It's going to be a, would you call it a remaster of yeah. the um, original? original villainous game, that core set. Introduction to yeah. evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Introduction to evil, which is supposed to be a slightly, um, uh, like simpler version of the character streamlined is. I wouldn't say it's any more simple. I think they just like it. they made it a lot more easy to understand. Yes, yeah, it's supposed yeah. to just be like so it really get those new players into it and so they can really experience the whole villainous universe. Um, and there's going to be the first ever North American villainous tournament at Gen Con, which we are really excited to be covering the whole thing. We will be hope bringing you, making you <laughs> feel like you are there. Um, in addition to that. Jonathan over here is going to be competing in the Disney Villainous Tournament. Oh, I can't get out in the first round. That'd be so embarrassing. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> We're going to have to, like, drill you. Make sure... We're going to play all week, and I'm going to beat you every time, or I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try. You're going to have to play all those characters that you don't know that well. Oh, please don't give me Scar. Up next from Restoration Games, we have two unmatched. One is Ooh. on demo. One is for purchase. The first one is... 
Tales to Amaze. Tales to Amaze. <laughs> <laughs> we backed it on Kickstarter. Yeah, We're backed excited. it on Kickstarter. Are Can't wait to check that. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of those. But it um, is a Legacy Unmatched campaign, so I'm excited to check that out. Now, who is in this one? Uh, you, gosh, you're gonna quiz me now. Yeah. Yes, okay, the heroes we get are Nikola Tesla. We get Annie Christmas. We get Golden Bat, which is a Japanese superhero, I think. And then we get Dr. Jill Trent, the science sleuth. Nice. Uh, so it seems like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Basically, they're all working against Mothman and then the Martian Invader, who have like various minions and sidekicks. Um, mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll get the Jersey Devil and a um, bunch of other fun yeah. creatures, too. So that will be fun to check out. <laughs> now, also, the one that you can purchase is going to be the supposedly the last Marvel Unmatched expansion. And this is going to feature She-Hulk, Spider-Man, and oh, Doctor Strange. So <laughs> I am excited. Um, Brains and brawn. They are finally bringing in your favorite superhero. Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Always been my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Next up on our list from the Scorpion Mask, which is from Hachette, uh, we have Sky Team. So this is a two-player cooperative game where we are trying to land a plane. If anything sounds like it's gonna cause a fight, like I'm pretty sure this is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one person's the pilot, one person is the like uh, ground control, I think. And basically, you're like trying to land the plane. You got this cool like acrylic tile you can see through. It's uh, like the pitch, yeah, whatever. Um, so it seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a dice placement game, getting a lot of buzz. We're definitely checking that one out. I think out. it's a cute idea for a game. Up next is Far Shore um, by Starling Games, and this one we have covered on our channel, but it's, it's going a new to, Everdell game. It's just a new Everdell game, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be getting a lot of buzz at Gen Con because it'll be released to the public by then. Um, and so that is a new game to the Everdell universe. It is a standalone game, um, but it is where you are ocean and you get to like go to different islands and it's a, it's a really cute game with beautiful components. Go check out our full review if you want to go see everything for that. Next up on our list from Wonderbow Games, we have Kelp. Uh, so this is a game where there is an octopus who's one player who's trying to hide in the kelp and collect you know the resources that they need mm -hmm. to survive. And then there's a shark who is like rampaging through the kelp trying to capture and uh, get the octopus. Uh, so this is a, a real scenario, sort of in South Africa, I believe there are these creatures are natural predators. Uh, so it is a cool little hidden movement game where you have these like kelp tiles that are standing up where you can't see where the octopus is going. Uh, seems like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. They're going to have a demo copy that they're going to be showing off there, and that is going to be coming to crowdfunding here pretty soon. So we're very excited to check it out. Uh, we, we love what they're doing so far. So that is a compilation of all the games we're excited to check out over at Gen Con, and I'm sure there'll be other ones that we see going around and other hidden treasures that we will come along with on our way home. Now, that also includes Bark Avenue, which is going to be <laughs> over at the Good Games <laughs> Publishing booth, um, which uh, that is our game, if you don't know. Um, so uh, we will be demoing that throughout the convention. So just go ahead and stop by if you want to see a demo of that. There will be a select number of copies available for sale. Very small. We'll probably yeah. sell out. Yeah. So <laughs> if you are interested, make sure you go over there. But the, our Kickstarter version, I think we have about 45 copies left of that. So if you want the deluxe, you can get that and the retail will be available in the fall. I think you can already pre-order on Miniature Market and there's some other places as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that is Gen Con. I am very excited. It is next week, which is crazy. <laughs> um, and we're excited to take you guys there and give you the full experience. And yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever we put out a new video. And we'll see you next time. Happy, Happy playing. playing. Cosmo octopus. How do you mm -hmm. say it? Cosmo. Cosmo octopus. Cosmo octopus. Is it Cosmo octopus? Oh.